Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Wild, wild, wildlife. Wildlife, conservation. Wildlife is all around us. Wildlife traditionally refers to undomesticated animals, not your pet hamster, Larry, <laughs> or my pet Australian shepherd, Gracie. Wildlife includes undomesticated animals and all of the plants, fungi, and other organisms that grow or live wild. Wildlife conservation is the practice of protecting wild plant and animal species as well as protecting their habitat. So why is conserving wildlife important? Oh, excuse me, Steve, but how important is it? Well, hey, Nelson, uh, actually conserving wildlife is very important. Why is that? Well, because everything in the natural world is connected. The uh, plants and the animals and humans all interconnected in this big, huge web of life. Hmm. Well, does that mean puppets too? Well, that's an interesting idea. Well, yeah, I, I guess it does include puppets because everything in nature is connected. So yes, that includes puppets too. Lovely. The web of life is like a giant spider's web because everything is connected to everything else. This means that the harm we do in one part of the web, even if we don't see that harm, can do harm in another part. Oh, no. And it can be reasonably argued that protecting and conserving wildlife is protecting and conserving humans just as much. <laughs> You see, we humans are a super successful and super powerful species. Oh, yeah. And we sometimes harm plants and animals and their habitats without even meaning to, or without even knowing it. This harm is like knocking over a single domino, but it in turn knocks over a whole bunch of dominoes. Protecting wildlife is called conservation. To conserve something means to protect it. To conserve wildlife means we protect all of the plants and animals that are native to a particular region. Not only does protecting wildlife add to our lives biologically, it adds a richness to our understanding of the natural world. Humans sometimes forget that we are intimately connected to the Earth and its systems. Earth can live without people. Mm -hmm. People? Yeah cannot live without Earth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's a kind of humility that people demonstrate when they help protect the vast, enormously, hugely, bigly big variety of life on Earth. We are important, but we share the planet with lots of other important creatures as well. Okay, so why are other living things important? First, all living things on planet Earth are a part of a system where everything is connected. And it has been that way for a very, very long time. Well, really, since forever. It's how the system works. The air is connected to the water, which is connected to the soil, which is connected to the plants, which are connected to the animals. You and I are animals, which is connected to the water. And on and on and on. Got it? Everything is connected. The natural home of an animal, plant, or organism is called its habitat. Plant and animal organisms have adapted over huge spans of time to live in their specific habitats. Interestingly, nature is always seeking balance, even within established habitats. If one part of the system gets out of balance or out of whack, it will affect 
the other parts. Sometimes we can't even predict what the effect will be. Here's a simple example. Deer, beautiful, fast, adorable. <laughs> a balanced number of deer in one area controls the vegetation or plants in that area. But too many deer might eat all of the plants in their habitat. The system becomes unbalanced. When the deer move out of their habitat looking for food, their new food source might be the plants in your yard or a farmer's field of corn. This can be a problem causing an imbalance. However, the opposite of this can also be true. Too few deer can allow the vegetation to grow over, and that can also cause imbalance. Wildlife conservation is protecting plant and animal species in their habitat and helping keep them in balance. Equilibrium is another word for balance. This balance isn't just for deer, it applies to all wildlife. Native species include all of the plants and all of the animals that call a region home before humans began interacting with that habitat. Humans are very powerful and can change habitats, harm wildlife, and harm native species, even if we don't mean to. And because this is so, oh, no. it also means that humans are powerful enough to conserve and protect wildlife. Biodiversity. Biodiversity is a term that describes the wide variety of living things in an area. If one plant family is wiped out by disease, a similar plant family in the same area may survive and balance can continue. The Great Potato Famine of 1845 in Ireland caused many people to starve to death because they only had one variety of potato plant for food. <laughs> When that plant couldn't resist a widespread disease, many, many, many people suffered. Wildlife can be an extremely important environmental indicator. It can show us a problem that needs to be fixed. For instance, wild birds are dependent on a healthy habitat. The population of birds going up or down can tell us a lot about how well the ecosystem is functioning. For example, numbers of wading birds nesting in the Everglades are dependent on prey, their food availability. The prey can depend on many factors, including water availability and water quality. Wildlife contains unique and valuable things that cannot be replaced when they're gone. Protecting wildlife may even have undiscovered health benefits for humans. Some scientists believe that bear saliva, yeah, bear saliva, works as a powerful antibiotic. There is so much undiscovered knowledge in the natural world. So, what can we do to conserve wildlife? One, protect wildlife habitat. All wild animals need food, water, shelter, and a place to raise their young. Plants need healthy soil, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. If we keep our planet healthy and free of pollution, we help to keep a balanced, healthy habitat for both plants and animals. We can set aside large areas for wildlife to live without human interference. Two, we can track animal and plant populations and make plans to help them when they are in danger. This is one important job of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. An out of balance environment can threaten or endanger plants and animals or even make them disappear forever. If they no longer exist, they are called extinct. If they are in danger of becoming extinct, they are called endangered. If they are close to becoming endangered, they are called threatened. The blue hyacinth macaw, the eastern indigo snake, and the gopher tortoise are all threatened. You can visit the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service website to see a list of threatened or endangered species. Everything on this planet is connected. Everything on this planet has value. That includes all species of plants, and animals. It has real worth just because it's here. Wildlife is all around us. We humans are so powerful. This means it's our responsibility to help our environment stay well balanced, to protect the planet's natural systems, to protect wildlife. Oh, and Steve, puppets too? Well, yes, puppets too. You see, everything in the natural world is connected. So when we are protecting wildlife, we're actually, well, we're protecting our own lives. Lovely.
So, 167.